adding an active passive bypass switch is an awesome hack for your bass, just in case you're on a gig and your battery starts to die, or if you just wanna extend your tonal possibilities by being able to run your pickups completely passive, adding an active bypass switch is easy, very inexpensive, and extremely useful. I'm Dan, this is Guns of Guitars, and I'm gonna show you how right now. Okay, first off, I need to let you guys know that this mod only works if you have passive pickups and an active preamp. If you have active pickups, you won't be able to run them passive because they require the battery power from the preamp in order to boost their signal up to normal level. So again, this mod only works for passive pickups. Also for this mod, you're gonna need a double pull, double throw mini toggle switch and some basic soldering skills. Now I put a couple links down in the description to the mini toggle switches that I use and the soldering iron that I use in case you don't have those. I like these generic mini toggle switches because you can get 10 of of them for less than the price of one name brand switch. And that's awesome just in case while you're installing it, if you accidentally hold the soldering iron on too long and burn out the switch, you get nine more tries before you have to reorder switches. Okay, let's get started. You're gonna install this switch between your last passive control and your preamp. Now for some of you, your last passive control might just be a pickup selector switch. For others, you might have a master volume or a passive tone control of some kind. At any rate, we're looking for the wire that connects to the input hot of your preamp. If your preamp is already installed, cut that hot wire that's going into your preamp. Instead, solder that hot wire from your pickups to terminal three of your switch. Then solder the other half of that connection, the part that leads to the preamp, to terminal five. Now, cut the preamp's hot wire that would normally go to the tip of the output jack and instead connect it to terminal six. Next, take the other half of that wire, the part that goes to the output jack, and connect it to terminal four. Lastly, add a quick jumper wire from terminal one to terminal two, and you're done. Pretty simple, right? Now, if you wanna know how this works, first, let me explain to you how a double pull, double throw switch works. In a double pull, double throw switch, you have six terminals. When the switch is in the up position, terminal three connects to terminal one and terminal two to terminal four. Flip the switch down, and now terminal three connects to terminal five and four to six. So now going back to our diagram here, when you flip the switch down, the hot from your pickups at terminal three connects to five and is routed through the preamp, which then comes out to terminal six, which is connected to four and goes to the output jack as normal. Flip the switch up and the hot from your pickups at terminal three now connects to terminal one, which jumps over to two, which is now connected to four and goes to the output jack, therefore completely bypassing the preamp. Pretty sweet, right? Well, the one downside to this mod is that if your preamp came pre-wired with an active master volume control, then when you bypass the preamp, you're gonna be bypassing that master volume control as well. So you'll either have to install a passive volume control or just do without it when you're running your pickups passive. 